Our infinite socket is set up with a Velcro tensioner and removing your tensioner and perhaps swapping out to a ratchet tensioner is really simple. What you'll need to do is just open this thing up and unfeed it through the D-rings and you'll notice that it's got this attachment that sits in the lateral paddle. You've got one on this side and after you feed the D-ring through this loop, you've got another on this side, okay? And the easiest way to approach this is you open this up and you can use a piece of plastic like this or um, a putty knife or whatever you want to use. Sometimes I've used Allen wrenches and you can feed this in to the point that now you've, you've broken up your Velcro. What you want to avoid is really pulling this open because what you can do is start to pop these stitches, um, in which case then you're, you're going to need a new brim. Um, but nevertheless, once you've got it open, you've got this portion of the tensioner out, and then we're going to just repeat over here on this side. And it's a little bit tight, so we're probably going to have to work it over a bit. Boom. Now it's free, okay? So what we've got is we've got our Velcro tensioner out of the way, and now we've exposed our Velcro so that we can add in our ratchet strap. We've designed the infinite socket so it's really easy to switch between your tensioner styles. We've got this low profile Velcro tensioner. We also have um, our micro tensioner is what we call it. It's a ski buckle ratchet type design with a ladder strap. This is really great because you can generate a lot of force in through your tensioner and get a fine tuned fit to your socket. Nevertheless, I'm going to teach you how to put your Velcro tensioner back on to your infinite socket brim. And here's how you want to do it. You're going to want to find the side that has the D-ring and you're going to want to loop it through our lateral paddle keep here and we're going to find our posterior D-ring. You're going to flip it open and slide right through. Okay? And what you're going to do is tack this down to your Velcro in your lateral paddle and, and stick it underneath, okay? And that creates this lock on here so that now you can address your uh, more anterior or medial portion of your tensioner. This one's really important. This technique is very important. Rather than flipping this up and going through this direction, you're gonna go around the other way. In other words, you're going to go in this direction. That's really critical, okay? What it does is it prevents you from binding here, okay? So what you're going to do is find your desired tension level and then tuck the rest of your Velcro strap in and attach it to all the Velcro that's sewn in the inside of your paddle, okay? And once you have it set up, your tension is squared away and now your tensioner is properly installed. Making adjustments to your tensioner is designed to be really easy. So in this case, we, we can see that we've got all this excess material here on our Velcro tensioner. It's too long. We need to take up the slack somewhere. We've got two ways of doing that. The easiest way is to, is to take up some of that slack in our posterior portion of our tensioner. So all we'd do is we'd open this up, we'd pull this over, okay? And you'll notice that we will need to re remove all of this slack in here. To do that, we're gonna open up our Velcro and we're going to re-tension this guy down. In this case, we would feed this all the way up into our lateral paddle that far. If need be, we could take a pair of scissors and we can shorten this portion of our strap. But what that's going to do is allow us so that now our tensioner is set up with the appropriate amount of, of coverage with our Velcro. It's very important to make sure that you get your tensioner uh, tensions correct so that your slack is out of the system and that you have this set up appropriately. And you'll learn quickly as you go through your fitting training. Um, that's a really critical skill to learn.